Charles Oliveira gets called down by Mateos Gamma, who would win this fight? Well, before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Charles Oliveira fought Banyu the Roost, in which Charles Oliveira TKO'd him in round one. Oh, he's it's over! It's over! Charles Oliveira! At this, Charles Oliveira went on to fight Armand Sarukin at UFC 300, in which Armand Sarukin had a lot of ground control, all landed Charles Oliveira, and even got out of two tight submissions, in which obviously Armand Sarukin ended up taking it by decision. For the winner, by split decision, Armand! Now let's take a look at Mateo's latest performances, in which he fought Rafael Fizet, in which both were doing great in round one, until Rafael got a knee injury and the fight had to be stopped in round two. Hey. Oh, oh, he oh, broke his foot oh, on the elbow. Wow. He landed it on the elbow. At this, Mateos wanted to fight Rafael Dos Santos, in which Mateos took control of the whole entire fight with his wrestling and grappling, and obviously he ended up taking it by decision. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Mateos! Now, this fight honestly makes a lot of sense, and it's honestly not a bad fight since Charles Oliveira put himself in a position where he's far from getting a title shot after losing to Armand Sorokin, but he's still highly ranked as he's ranked number two, and he still has what it takes to give anybody a hard fight that's in the top five. But the reason this fight makes a lot of sense is because Charles Oliveira isn't just going to be getting the biggest fights possible, so it makes sense that somebody like Gamera, who's ranked number five, gets the opportunity of proving themselves to see if they got what it takes to be a next contender for the title. Now, when you look at both men's records, you will see that Charles Oliveira has 34 wins with 10 of those wins coming by knockout and 21 of those wins coming by submission, and he has 10 losses. And when you look at Gamera, he has an impressive record of 24 wins with 8 of those coming by knockout and 5 of those coming by submission, and he only has 2 losses, so it should be a pretty good fight. And if Gamera actually wins this fight, then he's ranked number 2. But in the end, my prediction is that when it comes to grappling, when it comes to having the better submission skills, I gotta go for Charles Oliveira. And when it comes to striking, again, I gotta go for Charles Oliveira based off how good he has shown to be. So I got Charles Oliveira winning this fight and he might be able to end it early.